popular YouTube, another day, another demo, another investigation into the finals that just occurred at the EPL online grand final. Zayu and Simple went head to head the other day. And I want to take a closer look at this because if you watch them, I watched every map of this final. We did the reaction video. Zayu was the best player in the server. He was the only one in God mode. Electronic had a couple of very, very strong maps. But as good as this rating is from Simple, this was not Simple playing at his best. And I'm sure he would admit the same. But honestly, that was kind of beautiful because they still won. Navi still won and proved that they weren't just the player with the best team or the best player in the world. They were the best team in the world. They beat, Z they beat Vitality, who in my opinion were playing excellently as a team leading into the playoffs and also had Zaiwu on form, and Simple was a huge threat up until the, the the finals point, but they did it. They got the Intel Grand Slam. Simple still got it together enough to keep up and still lead by example, and you know some of his most important stars were closely behind him, and this is a great game, but this is a demo to look at Zaiwu because he was the best player in the server. He was taking over in some of these games. He was showing up where his teammates weren't. I can't even believe... I mean, look at the stats on this on this game, for example. I mean... You actually, you actually, they're just like, like his teammates are just not even a, like a nearby. Overall, this was a game where, you know, I, I think we just didn't have a lot of help for, for Zai. It was a great final from him. No one's a bigger fan of Simple than I am. Honestly, this, this year I predicted Simple to win more events and been correct than at any other time in my lifetime watching Simple. And uh, this is, this video isn't about Simple, but I, I predicted him to win the global finals at Blast. I was right about that. I predicted him to win Pro League. I was right about that. I'm predicting him to win the major as well. And I hope that he can get that ring and show that Navi are the best team right now. Navi can get that championship for their organization who have been so loyal and dedicated and invested so much time into CS with such a storied history. And I hope Zywoo gets that ring one day too. I hope Nico gets that ring one day. I hope these amazing outlier star players get their rings one day. But uh, simple, he's up to bat first. He's got the best team possible right now. He's also got the thickest competition. I think he's fine for the number one spot. I think they're in the favors of the major. I don't think Vitality are near that just because they made finals of this event. They still have problems. Kyojin's only starting to get warm. Masuda didn't have a great final here, even though he had a great pro league. Apex, a great IGL. Not good enough individually. Just not good enough individually. Had too many missed sprays, too many uh, bad timings, a little bit too switched off when it came to his personal game. Uh, and that dragged them, dragged the team down a bit. Okay. So I, I would like to say, I think that's, I, I, I think that that is for sure in my mind. He, he doesn't always have bad games. This is one of them. Anyways, cut the faff. All right, let's talk about Inferno 25 and 10. So I want to watch both halves an insane game called by Apex. And this was because on T side, they were doing a good job of entering on both sites. Uh, and Zywoo was on one side, usually around a entering while his teammates are on B entering, and they were both sometimes getting those kills. Zaiwu found some amazing timings. The aim was just unbelievably sharp. I mean, we're going to see a kill at the top of Banana. That's just unbelievable. We're going to see one at top mid. That's unbelievable. With a rifle showing how versatile he really is. And I'm going to plug in both the Bob and View model here because I forgot to do that. And uh, this res is on the God res. Not, uh, 1280 by 960, by far the best res in the game. Yes, I play on native, but I still can see this is the best res. Easily, easily, by far. If you like to support my content, support my one and only sponsor, djesports.io. Use my referral link in the description for 400 free DJT, which you can use to enter into the Prediction World Series, where you can predict the outcomes of some of the major esports events, including Dota's The International, the CSGO PGL Major, and the League World Finals coming up this fall-winter season for a total prize pool of 10 million USDT. If you use your 400 DJT, make sure to drop by their Discord and ask ModMail for 800 more. Happy betting, and thanks for supporting me. Second best res is 1728 by 1080. Sorry, my video, sometimes I'm like, I feel like I, when I speak, I'm like dripping with sarcasm, but because I, a lot of people who are watching these videos, you know, they might not have the, um, they might not be native English speakers. They don't get that. I'm just playing around sometimes with what I say. It's so dry. You know, my humor is so dry. All that's to say 1280 by 960 is the God res. It's the best res in the game, objectively speaking. I just use 1920 by 1080 because uh, it's the best res. It's not the God Res, though. The God Res is 1280 by 960 for sure. Tricky smoke here at the top of uh, Banana. Allows for that peak on the, or on the uh, corner, but it, it, but what's most important is that you don't even need to use it, right? It just keeps people back a bit. Keeps people back a bit here. We're here waiting for a flash retake to the top of Banana. So we're clearing everything out. Let's see. All the control you need. Fast step comes out, and now we're here going out first. And what? 
Okay, I didn't I didn't even know that that kill happened in this game. I don't remember that. So I don't know if that was spectator or not. That was absolute that might have been the most crazy kill of all the ones that we might see in this game. So good start. What? <laughs> that was bonkers, man. What the hell? And that's all you need. So what's cool, first of all, is to see Zaiwu on the entries. That's what I want to take a look at. But I want to really take a look and I, I want to take a closer look at how he manufactured these entries on T-Side specifically. Like what he does on T-Side, where he found these timings, what were the tips that got him into these timings. And of course, we're here to see Shock say, have fun, have fun, have fun after every single pause. That's a feature of these demo reviews, actually. We're blessed with the positivity of Shocks. Okay, we, we swing together. Masuda Zaiwu here. Let me see, remember, you're, if you're a second up behind your teammate, don't don't be redundant, okay? Try to look at something they're not looking at. If you can. Great peek. See, that's the, that's the other thing. You, the you, the first guy jumps out of halls. The second guy shoots the guy who's shooting the first guy. Was that complicated? That's simple, right? It's important to remember. During this final, I actually bought a, a Talon Fade, and I haven't even played CS since. I've just been watching demos the whole time. I'm trying to use mine, though. Super simple tip there on the entries. Okay, let's see how this goes. Funny thing about Zaiwu is when he said uh, they he did an interview. It's an hour long. It's on the Vitality, I think, YouTube channel. It's a beautiful interview shot in their facility. And they had an interviewer who was French. And uh, he was kind of working for the org as like a freelance, I guess. And he asked a couple questions about Vitality and stuff. And first of all, watch the interview because... Vaiwu has a great personality, and I thought it came out in that. But it's all subtitles, so hour long, all subtitles. But you listen, if you don't got time to listen to a prodigy uh, the size of Zaiwu uh, talk with subtitles for an hour, you got no business having opinions about Counter Strike. Okay, I'm sorry. It's worth a watch. <clears throat> but one of the funniest things was when they were like, so. Does the fact that we have this beautiful facility and our mental coach and x and all these things help you become, you know, better player? Have you improved as a player since? That flash is meant to blind anybody on the balcony, but you see Sybil pushed in the door. And Zaiwu said, no, it doesn't really help at all. He said, since I joined Vitality, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I haven't learned anything from... <laughs> You know, they put up like a little reaction time thing like the F1 race drivers have where they like hit all of the, you know what I mean? And they have the, they probably they have the strength and conditioning coach probably for Zywe. They have the smoke from Moto. Remember that lineup from Cold. Oh, what is this? Just a shadow. Boom, it's speedy. And then they have the, they got the mental coach, you know, therapist probably. Then they do team exercises. They all work out together. Dad who said it didn't do shit. <laughs> He's looking healthier than ever too. This guy, I, I get a little worried when players get too skinny because uh, usually they're best when they're physically rounder. Usually, I like to see I like to see esports players being out of shape. BlameF actually put it very well. He said, you know, everyone thinks I'm this big workout guy and stuff, but he says, like, this is everything's about priorities and Counter-Strike is my priority. So he's like, I doesn't even work out as much as he used to and stuff like that, even though he has that reputation. And he says, he doesn't care. It's not what he thinks about most of the time. It's Counter-Strike. And I think that's an, a very important lesson, okay? About productivity, about improving, about all this stuff. You know, everybody talks about, oh, what books you need to read. How you should go for a run every day, how you need to take a walk, how you need to eat properly, all this stuff. But no one sits down and does the fucking work. No one just sits down and does the work. No one plays the game. Everyone does all the stuff around it. And I think one thing that Zaiwu said also was that when it came to learning how to play... Ooh, great shot from Simple. Catch that jump spot. Can't get anything on this round. Call this one over, right? Oh, let's see how the 2VX plays out. How they can... So they manage... They smoke coffins. Uh, they smoke CT here. We've got a frontside flash from Kyojin. And an emo molly. But not enough time to get anything done. 
yeah, there's just no way. Okay. I forgot what I was saying. Something about productivity and fake gurus. But yeah. This uh, Molotov, of course, I was throwing just so that they don't peek. And you see how he smokes? He smokes there, draws attention towards logs, right? Gives them the idea someone might be logs. See, they, they spam the corner off towards logs. They don't overcommit, though. It's just a small fake, just something small. And they also, it can be understood that you jump across and whatever. But sometimes the cool part about T side is you can your your utility costs less, and you can, uh, if you play properly, you can get the CTs to spend a lot of money throwing more utility back at you, right? Than you are throwing at them. You throw one flash, sometimes they throw an incendiary. That's not a fair trade. Ooh, we're swinging this corner. This this inferno has simplified to a point where this is like very very viable okay and uh we're seeing um some tactics like this i think nico is the best one right now at he can just walk up to the top of, of banana and just get a kill he'll just like kill coffins kill the front side peak kill the shoulder peak from ct spawn and it's very viable to try to do it because it's not often people will sit uh opping from like coffins middle of the round before they think the exec co is coming this Position is very important. So you see your teammates are coming on to the B site. Listen, if you're here and you got nothing to do, try to get one of these corners because it opens up this choke point. If the CTs push banana, you're safe. You have a crossfire here. If you're on the sandbag side, you might all get blind at the same time or you're all in front of the players who are shooting you. So even if you uh, weren't blind, you'd still be in their crosshairs. But in this position, you kind of deny any ability for a flash retake from the top of a uh, banana. So important spot to be here plus you have you maintain vision while the smokes come out all this stuff and i'd like to say as well you know zywoo's team actually was here in this game kyojin had some great entries masuda had a couple of very very important entries the kills weren't abundant from his teammates but they were there and okay <laughs> how did he set that up the magician for one, Kyojin, two entries. Great but great game from Kyojin. You know, pleasantly surprised. I thought he would be more nervous in a final like this. I think he did a great job, uh, especially considering the expectations for him. This is one of my favorite things to do, be defaults, hold. It's a strong corner. Um, again, a guy I talk about a lot who goes there is Device, who's very good from this position. See, later in the round, Zywoo switches over towards logs. Still waiting for a push. We've got no bomb in hand. And I think there might be an eco here they're going up against, so. This might be why they're taking it a bit slow. No push is coming. And it looks like they really just want to get these kills if possible, but the, the CTs are not leaving the B site. But at this point, the bomb has been delayed on the plant so they can actually hunt these kills. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Oh, and they're doubled up in con. Okay, let's see the attack. Can they get it? It's a wonky spray. Oh my gosh, Boomich lag switching. Five to one. An aggro molly. There's a Zywu peak strat that sometimes uh, we call that. You know, because he'll get the up and then he'll run to the half wall with a couple of support flashes and take this deep peek into banana. Love to see it this game, but I think the really coolest part about this game was that he showed how insanely versatile he is, you know? Like, I, I, I don't know if this is properly defined, but I've been saying the term role player versus, you know, star player. And for me, uh, you know, Rops and Blame F, until they started entering more, were role players. They were star players in the sense of like, the out, out, unbelievable amount of impact, but not in the sense of versatility, not in the sense of being able to take over a game because they were such a slave to their role, you know, that they couldn't always do it. But look at Zywu here, showing why he's a star player in the sense that he's versatile. He can pick up any gun he, he needs. He can come through on entries. He can play a clutch perfectly. To me, that's what I think the definition of a star player should be. 
And uh, until Robs and BlameF started doing some more of the entry work and other stuff, I had trouble kind of thinking of them as star players, as stupid as that sounds. Like, everyone would call Robs a star player. But I, I think it was a very important distinction for me because is your star player a star player if they cannot win the game by themselves? And Robs back then who wasn't going for any entries, who would only play clutches, who would lose the round and save if his teammates couldn't get entries, was he really a star player? Or just the best role player ever, right? So that, I think that was an important thing for me. And some people might disagree. That's how I view the game. Oh my god. That was... That's got to be the coolest. That's like the coolest 1v2 I've ever seen. What? That was so cool. He threw the nade. The nade smoke blocks the shot from the back. So they can't, simple can't see. And the nade lands right on the guy who's approaching. With a wide swing. If shocks look more like Tom Cruise, he'd be the guy I'd be calling Tom Cruise. He's the action star. Always so sick to watch uh, shocks go in for the clutch. Okay, so he hold the smoke. As I would, keeps his vision open on his side. Throws the smoke down. Tries to punch the peak at the half wall. And again, just about establishing. You have a lot of powerful spots here between logs and this uh, and, and this pocket. And you use that to full advantage, you know. On the T side, you're trying to be dodging. You're trying to dodge nades here and there. But this part of the map is so valuable if the, T, if the CTs don't want to come and fight you. You don't turn it down. It's like Wagyu at an all-you-can-eat. Why would you why would you go to any other part of the buffet? Oh man, they're risking getting opt here with the triple push. God flash coming. God flash coming. There it is. They're gonna go over. Boomich has turned. He still dies to Kyojin. Another good entry from Kyojin. The Titan in this game is simple. They did a good job of attacking him. One entry and the round is one. The beauty of a round like that, and you gotta say, man, I mean, Apex is T side calling great. I mean, and uh, X Taz is doing an amazing job as a coach, apparently, still keeping it up. Looked a little sketchy there, post Nevera. Oh, the smoke, that, that messes them up a bit. They take a lot of damage off this. Oh, their own smoke, uh, Zaiwu smoke, hitting the top of that molly and not extinguishing it properly just made everyone just melted. Melted down like a cheese string in the microwave, as I like to say. Window flash for establishing on banana. No key flash to throw. Okay, finally, let's see. They've you've got obvious, you know, throwing a lot of utility uh, down banana, but they don't go in peaks. I would just disrespect the info right away. Wow, deep smoke comes. Okay, and for Zaiwu, this half wall smoke is an invitation. They flash through it. No one's here. It's always been a feint. I think this is one problem about Navi's uh, Inferno is they've just been, they just never are taking bottom mana control. And uh, yeah, that just means that it's, you know, the rounds can get very T-sided. You've got to be flexible. Some games they can abuse that. Some games you can't, right? Because some games, you know, Boomich and Perfecto just aren't hitting their shots. And that means that the site's just going to get cracked open way too much on the site holds. Some days Boomich is on fire. He's kidding every kill from sandbags. You can play, you can afford to play a bit more passively. This spot is very OP, by the way, over top of the smoke. You get up there on top of the coffins while the smoke is still there. And you can see someone's head in the corner sometimes. So don't sleep on that spot. You see, he's always just playing so slightly anti here. And oh man, unreal spray control, man. That was... I mean, what can you say, bro? Like, you would see this play and you wouldn't think this guy's an opera, right? How clean was that? He was just a first line of defense. I mean, if he dies there, yeah. The retake's on. Masuda doesn't have help from Oranges. He's not having a great game either. Crazy stuff from Zaiwu. Insane. They're working together to try to bait anything. Either a flash or peek or retake to the top banana. Sometimes these things can take a second to organize, so... But again, no one's here. We even had that half step coming. Oh man, that was the that was the shot. The fact that he kills bit there just to showcase his mechanics. He goes to clear the top of sandbags. The setup is beautiful from Navi. I would slam my keyboard if I was bit. 
That's a tough one to stomach. But they see Bit is over on the B site too. That's an important kill. They rush towards A now. One in mini. Ooh, that was not a good idea for Masuda to spray in that spot. Oh, they get dusted up by a simple and electronic. Two kills apiece. Boomich will take out Zaiwu nice and early. Okay, okay. Okay. Vitality back in the game. And I think, let's see. Do they win this? Actually kind of do. Oh, they do look good at least. They don't have much HP, but... Uh-oh. That was a, actually kind of a freebie. You can Shox do the clutch? No, he can't do the clutch. The dirty, dirty swing on mid. And you can see his teammates are coming up alt ready to take over the halls. He's the maybe the only one with an AK on this round. That's a risk you wouldn't normally take uh, on a full rifle just because you can get opt. But at this level, the mind games are so high. People aren't just like holding an op at mid every round. You know, they're doing something interesting or unique most of the time. Important boost. This one can be a bit sketchy because you're, you know, the, the ground is not level and it goes down, uh, down mid, which means it can be hard to boost. Just gotta be careful not to make any noise in that spot. I don't see anything. That was a good one though. Right on that ledge. The escort service has left here. They're gonna they're they're gonna try to get the plants with the four pistols, and now Zywu actually can take a risk if he wants to. And you see how he's just properly clearing all the angles, taking his time with it. Teammate coming back towards top mid. Look at this. And oh, he finds an insane frag on bit man just by being careful. That must have looked like a bolt of lightning. Oh my god, Simple dies too. They hold the flank, they cover everything, and now they go back to A because they just got the two kills. I remember when you get two kills on A. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you, you go you go to the site, but you go lane with the bomb. Okay, when you get the two kills, you get the two kills at top mid right away. Always go lane. Try to get that trade. Electronic trying his damnedest in this position. Okay, more than trying. Wait, can they plant? Oh! <gasps> They can't plant. Oh my god, that's an insane round from Electronic. What? He was all alone in Big Pit. They didn't make a mistake by going back there. He was alone. He was just in god mode. See these kills, man. Oh, man. It's... You, you, you couldn't write a script more perfect in terms... How, how clean these clears are. Instant to the head. There's no chance to get that refrag to even get damage in it's just ideal crosshair placement see how they work the map you know it, 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 as much as it usually is an advantage to have a 5v4 versus navi on inferno uh they were gonna stack anyway so you're kind of just as paranoid to go and try to clear something or take a site. It, in in my opinion, sometimes it just doesn't even make sense to try to fake because all you're doing is wasting utility. Three people pushing into CT spawn. They're going to wrap library and take over Arch probably here. They, they're, they're squeezing library as hard as they can. And they got control. This is perfect. So now the lane player comes up. You got a flash for the Halls guy. Halls guy doesn't need to exit per se, but look at the P90 coming out. Yeah, okay. I guess it does make sense here. And Electronic trying again his hardest to try to stop a site from collapsing, but he can only do so much, man. That was an uh, that was an ideal split. That's how you split on paper, how you split the A sites. As soon as you get bracket, one guy hauls, one guy going up lane. Ideally, you you know you have that arch trap, and you go into CT. It can also, it's a great way to take care of library and get the kill before you hit the site and isolate electronic. Uh, wh whoever is there is your site anchor. Uh, but more than that, it also can make it seem like you're going into CT spawn and leaving a lurker that you're actually uh, going to uh, fake a an A hit and go towards B. There's a number of use cases there, but if you've got all the money in players and you don't think there's an op on Arch or you're not worried about getting off from Arch, splitting Arch to A is 
going to be better and easier and more fun too than trying to run up lane. The crossfire is on a site inferno from lane and pit are very strong. Obviously balcony, mini pit, big pit, default box, the barrels, the outside of default. There's so many strong positions with the CT. So you need to give that site a little bit more attention. Okay. We're, let's see. Where's that emo player? No. Oh, there's one of the smoke. Okay. And second oranges <laughs> and the running spray. All right. It doesn't work out. This was pretty much a clinic. I think we got another 11 kills here from Zywu in the second half. So I wanted to watch that too, honestly. Let's see how they set it up. There's a lot of volatility here on B and uh, I don't know if we are primed to flash. It looks like we got a player standing on pool. I don't know if he has a flash out. But what can happen is purple can shoot, flash comes out, both peak. Or purple instant swing dies, flash comes out, Zywu peaks. Uh, or they just use a third guy as a, dip, a bait, but I'm pretty sure he's flashing. Looks like it, he will. Or they go towards A, you can see it pulls him forward, so the flash comes out, and they get the kill on. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Sheesh. With a bomb in vision. Uh, I don't, I don't think simple saves this one. Oh, it's close though. It's close. They don't want to fight that. Old Shoxy would fight this. They're just going to stay split. They both have an advantage to kill him. So I'm going to assume they do. I think he just gets run at here. Yeah, that just gets run at. That was actually good utility from Apex on the retake. We're assisting the mid push here. The one player far back with the long line. Shox dies. And now you just want to pull out that this is a 4v5 and it's like, oh, you want to try to fight 4v5. But at the same time, there's a timing on the alt guys coming up. You have to respect that. And you know that they're also especially ready for you in mid, right? You, you don't have an op and you know, they, they want to kill you so bad in mid. Plus you've got no more utility. So we'll see if they try to take some, maybe they take their risk on banana to try to get the kill. See, when I was kind of nervous about a lurk that's coming, he's shaking a bit more, jiggling here, just to make sure. Staying fluid on off angles is just as important as finding the off angles uh, in this game. You don't want to fall asleep at the wheel at any moment. And people swinging, sometimes you see a shoulder. If you move a little bit, it's big. Also, you want to stay in motion because you don't want to go from zero to full move speed. You know, stay a little bit moving, keep the keep the momentum engine high. Roll ruin. Suppressing fire. This is free. They're not gonna cover this, right? Oh. He's got homing bullets. The construction save. Oh no, after time. It looked like Perfecto literally tried to go die there by running into Con, but they were both coming up CT spawn. Oh, it's like a, it's not too super deep. It's just to, to punish the player swinging. I think maybe lands underpass perfectly. Pistoling rounds. Or on the op. Let's go. Zywu on the op, CT side. Sometimes you hold too tight and they swing. You don't get the kill, but you hold tight. Sometimes you dodge flashes like this one. So you, you got to think sometimes you got to figure out what you think they're going to do, how they're going to approach you. It's not always good to hold this tight. But we saw the situation was perfect. And because he didn't have to fall off that angle, he holds on to information longer. These small things can have knock on effects for the whole round. This game is about finer details. That flash is a port shocks to peek out. So I always have to worry about someone lurking through the spawn. They saw the worry about bees, lot lack information here. And Apex takes out two, fortunately one of his own. And now we're worried about a lurk. Oh shit. Whoa.
I'm just gonna watch that again. Uh, so I always thought to be worried about his flank. Right? You can see he's paranoid of it. But man, this guy has Oh lightning bolts in both hands. <laughs> Dude. That is something that is something else. When have you ever seen anything like it? Truly. I guess simple would be a good example, but when else? Jaquino's pretty fast, yeah, but Kenny S back in the day, yeah, that's true. Guardiano, yeah, good point. Okay, but he's still one of a handful. Oh, 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 showing his prowess off by not only doing amazing things with the AWP, but also a rifle in the exact same round. Jeez Louise. You gotta appreciate how he has his name written on all these rounds too, by the way. Okay, so they throw... You see the arch smoke is coming in, so you can sometimes expect the Molotov to come down here under the porch or buy it. Quick shot on lane and teammate above. This is the wrong time to attack lane the way that Navi did, so it's a perfect read. I'm gonna just chalk this up to a read by Apex and the team to be calling this. Fancy little flash here to pick up Arch and wow, he does not get distracted by the fact that there was some halt presence. He makes sure to focus on his job. And that's actually the support flash from Kyojin on top of his, I think. They coordinated that perfectly. There was no gaps in that defense. That was just nasty. After image flash as well, wasn't easy to see for him. What a beautiful game, honestly. What a beautiful game. Round after round after round. Exquisite choices. Insane shots. And it all looks so, so clean. So, so clean. Immediately going for the boost, and Chalk's always been his buddy in this regard to try to support. Uh, that one's free. Nice. Love that. And this time they'll be the one to re-smoke Arch. Shocks can hold it, and I guess this is a spot where you know, that Arch smoke no longer benefits the T side. They can't sprawl too many players up here on CT side, but... They're rotating over. 15 to 6. Could be the last round. Let's see if it is. Boost on the half wall. Finally, some more presence towards B. Banana. He's looking for the logs boost. Looking for the half wall jump. Sometimes it's good to keep yourself warm to be checking these angles. You know, moving back and forth between them. Just make sure your mouse, mo your hands moving properly. And everything like that. Can really just, you know, leading into the shot. It's like practicing a golf swing, I think. Almost the same thing. Wow, even jumping with that uh, roof above him. Never tried that. Personally. It's a car flash for the top of B. They're not using it to actually peek down. Looks like they want to try to pull the attack forward. You see that Not uh, uh, Vitality do this quite often, actually. Just try to bait that aggression. There's a rifle over an op. They work together to try to get the other one to kill. But attack might be coming toward the A site. Let's see if they can hold it off. Oh, looks like Mashuda, Masuda, Mashuda, Mashuda, shut up big time. Banger demo. That was sick. What a game. Zywooga. Wow. A man like Zaiwu. That was nuts. I'm glad we watched that. It's even way more impressive even in the demo. It was already insane in the game, but yeah. Let's look at the stats again here. T side 14-8, 11-2 CT. Stands way above his teammates in uh, both both halves overall. Dominated. Put his name on every round. What more do you expect from Zai God? Zaiwu? I will, ladies and gentlemen. Have some respect. All right. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again for another demo soon. Bye.